Okay, so what we're looking at here is a satellite view of Gartry and the surrounding area. Um, you'll see that we have put in models of the wind turbines and of the prison buildings. Um, we could have some models if I had time to create them uh, of all the houses in Gartry. Um, you can see here just how small the houses are in relation to the turbines uh, which are over 125 meters high. Okay so if we just move around a little bit um, what I want to do is demonstrate the flicker effect which the local community and the prison uh, would suffer um, if certain things don't happen. Uh, this map, this satellite image is lined up where it should be um, this green line down the edge is due north, um, which is the case. And um, we can, with this program cast, a shadow uh, depending on the time of day. So the time of day here is early morning. So as the sun rises, um, we will be casting a shadow right across Gartry. Um, as we progress throughout the day, this shadow is falling right across the buildings um, of the local community and the prison buildings. So, as you can see here, we've got four turbines which are going to constantly uh, cause a shadow and a flickering shadow. This is the worst part of it. Um, a shadow wouldn't be so bad, but a flickering shadow is particularly disturbing uh, to anybody who has to live in a house where the sun is going to be intermittently shining through your window um, notwithstanding uh, the effects that this can have on uh, somebody with epilepsy um, also of course in the prison community um, we will have a cell perhaps with only one window only one light source and if we can just imagine sitting in a room where that uh, light source is flickering on and off for most part of the day this is not just um, just part of the day the uh, what I'm demonstrating here is that the shadows pass across the community and across the prison uh, for almost more than three quarters of the of the light lighting day, uh, right from early morning right till around about three thirty. So, if these turbines were to go up and um, were indeed on at those times, they would cause significant discomfort to anybody who lives in this local community. Um, the fact is that the turbines are situated far too close to this community. Uh, notwithstanding any problems with with noise and that's not something I'm going into here, um, they are well within the uh, two kilometre rule which is adopted by many countries in Europe 
and um, there's obviously good reason for this and this is one of them uh, the uh, casting of a shadow across your house or in, ca in uh, the prisoner's case in their one room cell with one window one light source causing a flickering effect for most of the day is not acceptable um, and this problem would occur from uh, the beginning of November all the way through December to the end of January um, now there is a solution to this um, what could be done is that each of these wind turbines could have a sensor in them which sensed when uh, a shadow would be approaching a building and it would be switched off however the problem here is that we have four turbines which for just about or a great part of the day uh, they are going to be passing over these buildings so the turbines would need to be switched off for most of the day in these three months significantly reducing the amount of power that uh, the turbines are going to produce so what I would suggest is that uh, a more suitable site is found for these turbines uh, away from the from a local community like this um, and where this uh, kind of effect cannot occur um, this is not to uh, this is n my proposal is not against wind energy it is against the site proposal which is going to cause significant discomfort for the community or if these turbines are switched off um, the turbines won't produce the amount of power that we should be getting if they were sighted uh, in a more appropriate place um, more energy be, would be produced thank you for listening